Hello my friends, I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove the rings in your ring bound planner. This video was requested by you in the comments. If you're new here, hello. My name is Tanya and I make videos on functional and practical planning. If being organized and productive is something that interests you, please be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. So some of you reached out to me and said, Tanya, I love the binder, but I prefer a different size rings. So this video is for you. It is about how to change the rings in your binder. Some people prefer larger rings. Some people prefer smaller rings. Also toward the end of this video, I'm going to show you some new items in my shop, which includes this checkered binder and this black cover. So in case you haven't heard, I just released this new binder. This is the classic size and it has seven rings. So it fits Franklin planner inserts. It also comes in different sizes. It also comes in the smaller compact size. And what you see here is an optional chain that's available for free for a limited time that you can use on your binder and carry it as a purse if you like. The smaller compact size fits compact size inserts, personal size inserts, and personal wide size inserts. All of these binders are made with loads of organization features. So the binder comes in the smaller black compact size. It also comes in the pink smaller compact size. And it also comes in a larger black classic size as you see here and these binders come with rings that are 1.25 inches so that's like an inch and a quarter so if you prefer larger or smaller rings I'm going to show you how to switch out the rings in these binders and the smaller compact size that fits the personal inserts these rings are 1.2 inches so the ring size is a little bit over an inch is 1.2 inches for the smaller compact size so what I'm going to do is remove the inserts inserts in here so we can get ready to remove the rings. Now the tools needed to remove the rings in the Tanya Plans binder are just a simple household tool. This is a conventional flathead screwdriver as you can see here and I have two screwdrivers here. They're both the same with the flathead but this one actually has a little magnet built in so when I remove the rings the nail actually sticks to the head but you don't need that. You can just use a regular flathead screwdriver like this that most households have laying around. So let me show you these nails up close in the rings. See how it's just a simple slit in the nail? Literally, if you can screw in a light bulb, you can remove the rings in this binder. So I have my flathead screwdriver here with the magnet on the end. That's the black part that you see there. And I'm going to unscrew it to the left because I always remember that saying, righty tighty. And if there's a lefty one, I don't remember it. But I know to unscrew, I should go this way to the left. See how that magnet works? It just makes it a little easier so your screw don't go flying somewhere. But I like using this screwdriver because of that magnet on it. So this is the little rivet or the nail that you will see when you remove the binder rings. So now we're going to remove the one here at the bottom. You unscrew to the left. And here. And here is the second screw. So now you remove both screws and you can simply lift up the planner rings. What's left here are the two holes that the screws had went into. This is how the back of the rings look. And again, these are the 1.25 inch rings that come with the classic size planner. This is the smaller compact size. And this method that I just showed you can be used for the smaller compact size. There's a screw there and there's a screw there. So the rings should be easy to remove and any of the Victoria binders that you get. You can also remove the rings just like this in this brown checkered one that I'm going to show you at the end of this video. This is actually a ringless cover for those people that use planners without rings and I'm going to show you that at the end of the video as well. So here are some rings that I actually got from Franklin Planner. These rings are one and a half inches in diameter so they are a quarter of an inch bigger than the ones that come with the Victoria Classic size. So what I'm going to do is put these larger rings in the planner box. Binder. So these rings are already removed. So let me show you a Franklin Planner binder with the rings already attached. So this is one of my Franklin Planner binders that I got a while back. And this binder has very small rings. So as you can see, 
This binder have rings that are under an inch. Some people like the travel light and they prefer smaller rings. So let me show you how the rings look in the Franklin Planner binders. Notice the rings look like this. They don't have the slit like mine do. This requires an Allen wrench. So if you're trying to remove the rings from a Franklin Planner binder that you have or another binder that you have and put over here, you wanna take a moment and look at the type of nail that is in the screws, if any. This is like an octagon shape. You will need to use an Allen wrench. So I went in my husband's tool chest and here are some examples of Allen wrenches. Allen wrenches come in different sizes. To remove the Franklin planner rings, you will need a two millimeter Allen wrench. Remember, you wanna to screw to the left to loosen the screw. So that's how that works. So also what I wanted to show you is that where the nail is on the Franklin planner rings, it's about an inch down. So you can replace the rings in my binder with almost any set of rings. If you have planner inserts with six holes and not seven, you can replace the rings with rings that are six as long as the holes line up. And my holes start at about one inch. So if you take a ruler to the rings that you have at home and the hole starts at about an inch from the top of the rings, then the rings you have will fit the Victoria binder. Again, these are one and a half inch rings that I recently removed from a Franklin planner binder. So you would simply match this hole up with the hole right here. Get the screws that came with your Victoria binder and put them in. And remember the saying righty tighty. So now we're trying to tighten the screws so we will turn toward the right. Okay so now I'm going to put the second one in. I kind of press down a little bit on the rings when I'm trying to put the screw in so the rings will be lying flat when I'm finished. So I'm going to screw to the right. And now the Victoria has one and a half inch rings. Now, because these rings are bigger, I do recommend that you use the ring protector that is included because sometimes bigger rings have more of a tendency to leave ring dents in your binder. So to protect it from that, you can just simply use the ring protector. So let's try to close it and see how the binder is. Now this binder has a turn lock closure. So when you close it, let's see how it looks to the side when you close this binder with larger rings. You can see the ring protector here protecting your binder and these are the larger rings right there. Notice how the binder comes like it's almost like a slight triangle here because of the turn lock closure. So the one and a half inch rings will fit. Will it be a tighter close? It will be a tighter close because the binder comes slightly down like this but it stretches out as you can see the type of material it is it will stretch outward but it will be of a tighter fit as opposed to the rings that came with the binder. So I hope you found that information helpful, but it will look like this on the side. Okay, so now for the fun part. So now I'd like to show you some of the new binders I just released in the shop. So first I'm going to show you this brown checkered binder. I'm gonna show you this up close and it is designer inspired. This is the spine and this is the back of the binder. And this binder has a snap Closure. The hardware is gold and the inside is a brown color. And I'm showing you this really close so you can see everything. This binder has two pin loops with elastic on the back. It has a pocket. You have a zipper. You have several card slots. And on the back here, you have two long pockets and two smaller pockets here. And the rings that come with this binder give you plenty of space. These are one and a half inch rings. And these rings are removable. And that's not all you get. You also, with this binder, get the clear page lifter. You also get this, this beautiful fly leaf. And again, with the oblong holes, it makes it easy to turn these items across the rings. Now with this fly leaf, this includes an additional zipper. So if you want, you can put additional items in here. This can be an additional pencil pouch if you like. And on the back, you have card slots. I want to give you everything. Most planner binders that you buy does not come with all these features. And you get a ring protector. So you want to put the ring protector on first. So you would just slip this over your rings and the ring protector, just press it down and it'll fit snug. The ring protector again protects your binder from getting those ring dents. So I'm giving you all this now available in the shop at tanyaplans.com. And with the seven rings, this fits Franklin Planner inserts.
And also to add to the deal, these binders come with a box and a dust bag. And the next item I wanna show you that was just released in the shop is this beautiful black cover. This is a ringless cover. Some people don't have ring bound planners. Some people have planners without rings. Like sometimes people use disc bound planners. Sometimes people use bounded planners like Hobonichi, Stology, etc. The texture is raised. So you can actually feel the texture of this cover and it's a little bit cushiony. So there's a little bit of padding in here as well. This cover has a snap closure. So here's the organization that you get inside. You get two pin loops with elastic on the back. You get a pocket that goes all the way down to here. So you can slip things in this pocket and you can slip things on this side all the way down and you can slip things going this way on this side. So I happen to have a Hobonichi A5 size planner here. So if you like, you can slip it in this way and it looks like this. And let me quickly show you. It also comes with a zippered pocket that is gusseted so it expands out. There's a place here for documents, cards, slots, see-through card slot. On the back, you also have, oh, I can't wait to show you this. On the back with this binder cover, not only can you slip in something this way, I'm going to show you how you can put a notepad at the top here because there is a pocket here, a pocket here, and two pockets there. I'm trying to give you everything. Let me show you how this looks closed real fast. Slim and sleek. For those of you who do not use ring planners, this is for you. You have a place to put a notebook. Maybe you're the type, you're like, you know what, I'm, I'm not a planner person. I just need a place to write some quick notes. You can just put a notepad in here and have a place where you can write quick notes. So when you run into a meeting, this could be your padfolio where you would write notes on. So that's an option. So also I wanna show you this. This is a Franklin Planner wire bound planner. And I'm gonna show you how that could fit in here. Now this is the classic size wire bound planner. So this cover fits A5 size and classic size. And you can fit in your wire bound planner like this. Now mind you, you can also put items on this side of the cover. I also have the Franklin Planner Japanese organizer planner. I love this thing. That will also fit in here. Here's the Franklin Planner Weekly Compass in the classic size. Just wanna show you that that will fit as well. You know what, in fact, I'm gonna put it on this side just to demonstrate that this side works just as well. So if you have a separate, maybe you wanna put a notebook over here and over here, you can do that if they're slim enough. So I hope you are as excited as I am about all of these exciting binders that are now in the shop. I have lots of things for you to choose from. Now, please note that once the Victoria's sell out, I will not be restocking these. I want you to know that. So if you do plan to get it, you can grab it now. In case you didn't know, my shop also accepts installments. There's no impact to your credit score. So I just wanted to present that as an option in case you're interested in these items, but would prefer to pay over time. Please don't forget to like this video and let me know what you think about these planners in the comments. I love talking to you guys. This is Tanya helping you feel more organized so this can be your best year yet. Take care.